I feel like I get corona off a party. Um, I got corona the correct way. Motherfuckers just get corona from opening the door. Now. If I can get it from the door, come on, man. I'm trying to have fun. I'm trying to have fun. <laughs> We are tapped in another another episode of explicit content. I'm live in LA right now. Well, you're not seeing it live, but I'm in LA right now with my dog Scotty. Yes, Scotty Roach. Um, been knowing my bro for a few years. Yeah. Uh, my dog's from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Yeah, six one six um, with it. Howard alum. Yes, sir. H U. You feel me? H U. You know. <laughs> uh, you feel me? Owner of Cranium. So we finna dive into all of that shit today. Yeah. Um, thank you, my dog, for having me out yeah, here. Yeah, but you already know it. You feel me? So. Yeah. Shit. Let's. Uh, you feel me? Start off first, bro. Um, like I said, you from Grand Rapids. Yeah, I'm from yeah. a small town, Gary, Indiana. So I yeah. know you can relate. You feel me? Growing up, being creative, you feel me? Being one of a kind yeah. in a small town like that, it's hard. Yeah. Um, so you feel me? Where did you find your creativity? I know you launched your, your clothing line, Cranium, when you were in high school still. Mm -hmm. So where did you find the creativity for that? Man, honestly, my mom, she, mom and dad, you know, uh, my mom kind of immersed us in like the arts early. Like me and my sister would like maybe. Like ride our bikes up the street to like different painting classes, art classes, um, and just kind of having that time, you know what I'm saying? Just being a, like, you know, alone, not that much to do. You got your like, kind of just the suburb stuff, you know what I'm saying? You, you have no really choice but to be creative. And then on top of the, um, even my mom, she was uh, settling like art and stuff in college and stuff like that. So I just felt like kind of the arts just kind of went through the bloodline. And um, in addition to being in that small town, you know, Small town, small city. Really, it's the city now. Um, oh, yeah, bet. Yeah. We, uh, but, yeah. So, really, um, yeah, that's just kind of happened. Yeah, but definitely, yes, the family really is big on art and everything like that. Okay. Yeah. So, besides, you feel me, being a creative in Grand Rapids, what was it like growing up there? Like, you feel me? It's not Detroit, but it's still Michigan. Yeah, exactly. What was it like? Man, I mean, I bet it's like, so definitely it's one of those places where, like, everybody knows each other. Um, so, it's, it's just like a small community everybody pretty much knows each other um super diverse in Grand Rapids where I'm at too just as far as like just so many different like you know ethnic groups yeah, in the city sure. as well which is super cool so that and kind of prepped you for how so yeah, in that, DC and city. exactly so if you're going from like a super diverse area to now I'm at like a going to like a HBCU all black so I kind of had a good thing but you know I was kind of um kind of outside of Grand Rapids for like my high school in Kentwood which is super diverse but then I would spend a lot of like my weekends and uh do like events like in the city in Grand Rapids where it's like you know predominantly like mostly black people and shit like that so yeah. so yeah yeah so I uh you started your brand how old were you 16 16 so you're like a junior high school yeah junior junior high school okay, so when did you start to notice that your brand picked up and you're like okay you feel me it's getting some traction I need to further you know what I'm saying because I know now you have a team you feel yeah, me yeah. you know what I'm saying you top tier when did you notice that shit Man, honestly, I felt like it was just kind of getting started, just planting the seeds. And when I was still in Michigan for a while, and I think probably accelerated when I got to school, honestly, a little bit. And to be, like, honest, for real, I feel like I just, like, maybe last year set the foundation of Cranium firmly. Sure. Now it's kind of really kind of picking up a lot. But, yeah, yeah, but definitely uh, probably going to Howard. Just, it's a bigger platform. So yeah. you say you just set the foundation, um, yeah. but I feel like, you know, I've been watching your brand for a yeah, while. Yeah, yeah. I feel like y'all always had some type of consistency. For sure. Where do you get, like, the, you feel me, the motivation for your brand from, or, you feel me, where, like, your style, how would you describe that? Man, just uh, we pushing a lifestyle through the clothes. So, I mean, we using, like, you know, if, it, if it's shorts, if it's a shirt, if it's a bag, whatever it is, I mean, all that stuff, we're kind of using it as a as a canvas um, for sure. to kind of spread the lifestyle. So if I could tell, you know, people to... You know, take sacrifices, uh, take risks, make sacrifices to just, if it was like on a note or something like that, then, um, yeah, I, I would do that, honestly. But then it's like, you really have the clothes that you can really express it so much further, get to more people, really touch the youth with it, too. Um, so, and then really, the, the inspiration just comes from just real experiences, really based off of either my, like, kind of what I may, may be going through, and it really directly um, reflects that. So, yeah, yeah, it's, it's it's really pretty much okay. internal, and I'm outwardly expressing that. No, I know, because I remember you gave me the uh, sacrifice joint. Yeah. And I'm not going to lie. I never, somebody got my sacrifice. <laughs> you got that bitch, I need it back, because the shorts I'm trying to, you feel me? Man, running the back. Said. So, all right, so damn, when you came to Howard, um, you were the freshman. All right, I'm not going to lie. 
what were your choices for college? I know you played soccer, right? Yeah, yeah, How yeah. were you feeling about going to college at Howard? Like, did you want to go there? Or you feel me? Like, yeah, that was like number one. It was it was number one. I was like, yeah, definitely number one. My mom, she they went there too. So oh, for sure. Okay. Yeah, it was just like sure. it was it was pretty much given. Sure. Yeah, and when I I was for a sec, I was like maybe you know cool Michigan State stuff, but yeah. then I went to the Howard campus. You know, fuck with it. It was a wrap. It was a wrap. All right, so then freshman year at Howard type shit. I'm already knowing you feel me. Just you being a flashy, you feel me, young nigga. Howard, yeah, your yeah, shit, yeah. your brand elevated. Yeah. So you feel me? How would you you know what I'm saying just describe like your first year at Howard? You feel me? What it do for you? What it do for your brand? You feel me? Man, first year, Howard, man. Man, it just exposed it. Just supposed to be in, like, you know what we're saying, like a small city, just Grand Rapids, you know, uh, putting it on a Howard platform. Not only I'm in D.C. now, but, I mean, Howard, it's everybody from every different city, you know, from Houston, L.A., yeah. even international uh, students are there, too. So it's just the exposure there. So if I can get it on, get it popping at Howard, now kids on, you know, winter break, whatever, they're going to go back home to right. Houston, L.A., New York. And now my friends like popping over there too, um, so immediately yeah, it just it really expanded in that sense. And then on top of that too, um, I think you I got to be able to see like a lot a lot of different styles too, just how Cultures people dress too. HBCU yeah, see you like a melting pot. Exactly. Type so, so yeah. Nah, that's dope. Mm -hmm. All right. So damn. So okay. Uh, I know you had the cranium tours. You feel me? Yes, yeah, sir. How did you, you feel me, decide to, like, all right, I need to branch off from clothes and do something else, and then, you feel me, get 21 seconds? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. That, those three big jumps type shit. For real. What was that like? I just feel like music and fashion are so connected. So, uh, and it's, it kind of made sense just business-wise from, like, mm -hmm. touching the same demographic, the same kids that maybe be attracted to a, a 21 Savage show. Um, they are also going to be interested in the clothing as well, so... Uh, it just kind of made sense um, to kind of merge those audiences and uh, just get cranium in front of them that way. So, um, so yeah, a lot of times too, when we got 21, I was just like, it was like 10K. We booked him for a show right before 10K, he okay. kind of. Yeah, right. That was right when like Red Office shit was Yeah, like, I think it was like X. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So, yeah, it was like right before. So, it wasn't that crazy. And um, got the partner up with a, a couple of people to do that too. So, but yeah, just great brand exposure to line with that. We did like a party with like Lil Yachty like right before right, that yeah, too yeah. and I was like I that super love too got him like right before right um, before the Sprite deal right, and all that exactly, shit exactly you know what I'm saying so yeah just good timing and yeah they wearing the clothes they touching the same people that's looking up to them so might as well uh, kind of put them together okay yeah, so yeah. damn alright so um, at Howard in addition to you feel me you been who you was did you still playing soccer or not nah nah soccer yeah. stopped, stopped uh, so it's not like the senior year cool it's fun you know what i'm saying then like messed with it like at Howard for like a i did a tryout like and then the conditioning did that it was just i, I didn't feel like running it wasn't for me and then yeah yeah i was like no, it, I it, was, it was too was much fly, nigga. yeah That's you it. feel me all right so okay but you said um earlier you mentioned that uh music and artistry or you feel me music and clothing all yeah. this it's like artistry it's all got something to do with each other i know that you've been making music recently you feel me yeah and what's that been like you feel me why do you decide to merge over and start making music Man, I, really, the music just, it it, it, it kind of took me a while. Because, I mean, I was doing, music has always kind of been around right. um, since I was like 16, too, a lot of my homies and stuff like that. But then I feel like it took me a while just being, doing those events, doing the doing the shows and stuff like that. It was kind of, uh, I had to kind of find my voice on like, really what I wanted to say with it. And so the same, similar, you know, message I'm really pushing with, with the clothes about, you know, take a risk, take sacrifices, elevating. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's like a mindset I'm pushing. Now it's you know through the music, and uh, it's something that's an intrinsic you know skill for me too. So uh, yeah, yeah, it just it just made sense. It happened mean, naturally. Honestly, it was something that's more so just kind of happened. It wasn't so premeditated. It was just like let me take it serious. Going through some, it was kind of a form of therapy too when it comes to experiences and stuff like that. And it was just like there yeah, was time to do it. So so yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So how would you describe your sound? It sound, man, man, sound I'm saying, spaceship music still, like, spaceship music is, that's definitely a cool sound just as far as, I mean, when I say spaceship music, I really mean, like, it's elevation, it's, has, like, a, just futuristic as far as, maybe from the future, too, as sure. far as I'm pushing, I'm using uh, different, kind of, different beat selection I'm using, um, and even when it comes to, yeah, yeah, it's just it's definitely 
kind of a one of those experiences where you just gotta tap in, listen. I'm not just trying to do the you know the same music that's out there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but definitely. I'm trying to yeah do something different and just take you to a different place. Really time travel with, with the music. You know what I'm saying? So all right, yeah, yeah. You say your shit is futuristic and you yeah, feel me? you put a lot of time into it. What goes into actually you feel me making a song? You know what I'm saying? Your beat selection. Yeah. What's your process like? Yeah. So yeah, I get like I get a beat. Um, you know, I usually tap in closely with like a producer. I lock in with for once. So like for my first pro- project, it was like Seven Songs Voyager. It was like um, yeah, seven songs. One one producer was actually my roommate for okay. my second semester of my senior year at Howard, which was dope. Yeah, Melon and Cut. So that was super fire. Um, and you locked in with him for that one beat um, for like yeah seven beats. And then I kind of from there just kind of fill it out. Like I just kind of start recording even right on the process. Like the first time I hear the beat. Uh, just kind of putting melodies together, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, sure. And then from there, I put the words in, and then I go to the studio and, 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 and lay it down and kind of take, you know, the kind of that raw idea and get it to the highest level where every bar coming through how I need it to, the hook coming through how I need it to, it, it just got to sound right. Yeah, it got to no. be at that quality, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Okay. So, um, for me, what's next for your music? I know you got, what, a tape out, uh, EP, yeah, 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 EP a yeah. couple songs. You working on some visuals? What's next? Yeah, so, yeah, um, your voyage was out earlier this year in March. Um, working on a finished a new project um, called FTF, which stands for, uh, for From the Future. That's something I'm working on to put okay. out soon. And I just dropped the first single off it uh, called Chasing the Light. Yeah, Chasing so the Light. Yeah. So yeah, that's going up. Um, you know, Spotify, SoundCloud, um, iTunes, every you know, all platforms. But really, those platforms are really going up right now. And uh, yeah, definitely, yeah, visual you can expect soon for Chasing the Light. Uh, it's, it's been getting some international love too, so that's always like humble. Where, where, where you getting your biggest fans from out there? It was like some people in like Argentina, Tokyo, or so Japan. Well, I, I mean, get a lot. You went to Tokyo, right? Yeah, I went to Tokyo you still, too. You feel me chat with the folks over there? Yeah, definitely. Oh, okay. And I think they just fuck with like the aesthetic, the fashion, the sound. It kind of fits like when you over yeah. there, it's like super that, bright lights. You said that spaceship music. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. So that's, yeah, it's been dope because I'm like, yeah, I'm, uh, you work so hard on the music and you want to put it out and not everybody can get out to a big platform like that so even no, though it's not sure. the biggest yet it's still i'm grateful for every single stream no definitely yeah. and i mean you feel me you, you, you growing so yeah you feel me? With that being said as an artist you feel me musician where do you see yourself in five years and then you feel me on the other hand where do you see cranium in five years for sure as an artist in five years man five years i'm definitely gonna have a number one okay. album definitely like billboard i'm coming for it the charts with that for sure um that's that's for the music where it goes with that. Um, I'm gonna have definitely a roster artist because just as an entrepreneur businessman, you know, I feel like once I kind of paid my way with the music, I could definitely put other artists in position that I believe they would want to get a platform so you too. Bring somebody up. Yeah, okay. definitely. But my first before I, you know, what that's like. Up. What does that mean? Like Cranium Records, or you feel me? Or that's like you feel that's me? That's the audio. Record? So yeah, that's the okay. audio. Okay. That's the uh, that's the name of the label. Uh, yeah, because it's the, that Voyager lifestyle, you know what I'm saying, as far as um, you taking the uncommon route, there's no blueprint for it, uh, and and to really, yeah, yeah, to, to make, make your vision happen, to make your dreams happen, I mean, sometimes it's no blueprint for you, you just got to go out and do it, be be fearless, and take those risks, and uh, yeah, that's just, that's just what it's about, so yeah, just um, yeah, being a vessel too, let, you know, I don't believe like the music is just me i'm not giving all the credit to myself you know what i'm saying i know that you know god working through me for sure and uh that's that's how it works so it can you know yeah i'll praise to the highest with that so okay. and then with i use with the cranium yeah definitely want to bring a store back home to grand rapids um that's yeah that's that's definitely a big thing um a couple stores more cranium tour the cranium tour in la that's the next thing. So, O3 sure. would love to do something at LA. So, you definitely. Well, well, yeah, I was going to say, tap me in. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, when Corona's over, I said, I'm going uh, to tap saying. back in on the DJ sets and shit. You nah, know? exactly. Yeah, you on it. You on it. So, so we like you for real. So, all right, that's my next question. Yeah, yeah. Um, as an artist, do you, I know you, you, feel me, you lived in DC four years. Yeah. Lived in Michigan your whole life. Yeah. Um, you feel me? I got the same, you know, same kind of exactly, experience. Exactly, yeah. Do you feel like LA is best for you as an artist or how living in LA treated you? LA has been dope because, I mean, blessed to have a good network out here. Um, you know, I have family, have family friends out here. Um, man, just the, the weather has just been beautiful. You can't yeah. complain with that. Uh, just the ability to, like, when I'm back home, you know, because, you know, my parents, they have, like, a, um, you know, even my family as a whole has a big impact in the city and stuff like that. So yeah. when I walk around, it's, like, people really, 
Oh, you yeah, like, like they know you are, you know, like, oh, I don't see your grandma, no. I seen this and that, you know what I'm saying? You already yeah, I'm looking because, yeah, no, I know <laughs> exactly. when my mom watches, I want her to be doing the same exactly. shit. I don't got time to be walking around at home for that. Exactly. Like, but no, I feel you. Not for real, but then in LA, it's just, I'm my own you person, I'm better my own journey, so so that's just what what's fire by. And really, nobody looking at you weird for, like, if you dressing different or nothing, that tattoos, whatever it is, you can just... I see why people really get, like LA. You can really make your dreams happen out here because everyone's a bit coming out here to visit. Uh, you can be super cranky, but also you can be super like isolated too with um, just locking in on what you need to do. And yeah, so so LA, LA been great for real. No. For sure. Mm-hmm. So all right, I know um, out here in LA, you've been locked in with some uh, what I say tech startup. Yeah, 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 What's yeah. That yeah. Fuel Fitness. Man? Yeah, yeah, foreign fitness foreign for fitness sure. Yeah, fault. yeah. Now you good? You good? We're we'll talking right. about that foreign fitness. Uh, how that come about? Yeah, for sure. Um, it was uh, my uh, went to school with him at, at Howard. Um, so he had this, he had this vision um, to you know create like the Uber for personal training. Um, and uh, he just uh, man locked in every day. Got the bench press in the crib, um, just going hard. Uh, yeah, leading the team and stuff like that. And he wanted me to come on just to you know help with my experience and you know because I went to school for design uh, visual, and visual communications. Right, right. So just branding it up, even my business experience too. Just being a good founder and um, just bouncing ideas off with it as well. Um, as far as you know, just making sure we're ex- executing the vision the right way. And then right now, uh, even though you know we want to do you know an app, app eventually, which is coming soon, we're actually in development with that. But um, uh, right now, we're actually sending like personal trainers for to teach yoga, Pilates, or hit or boxing or water aerobics for sure. at you know properties um, around LA. So we actually have like a good contracts too. So yeah, I'm just. You know, multiple strings of income, okay. uh, and always aligning with people that you know are um, just hungry and and they're, they're relentless and they're never gonna give up. So For yeah, sure. yeah. So that's what we on with it. For sure. Okay. So uh, I know um, you went to Howard and shit. Yes, sir. You said you were a visual communication major. What mm-hmm. was that like? Man, it was dope. Uh, so yes, like fine arts. So it's just like um, yeah, my, my school was like school of fine arts was like right on the yard. So um, just kind of knowing the legacy of it with people like. Taraji P. Henson, Felicia Rashad, Chadwick Boseman, they always they were like in the same yeah, classes right there. Sure. Yeah, we R. P. Chadwick for real, legend. And um yeah, like this the, the teachers there are amazing because even when you're there you learn in like not just about, you know, other schools you might just learn about, you know, the kind of the main artists that are, you know, that they kinda of push. Yeah. If it's like a yeah, whoever it is, but then you really learn about like the black artists, you learn about kind of like yourself with that in uh the professors are being black there you kind of mean like a lot of different you know have on one floor there's like a music floor or like all the, the music um kind of majors and stuff like that sure. um really small intimate classes but yeah it's like it was, it's really the amazing teachers and they really like care about you they want you to succeed too so it was just a fire experience and to be around just super you know, positive just free people. Yeah, you know, positive. Same with Morehouse. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. I, I asked because you feel me, Howard's, of course, a little different from the AUC. Yeah. Um, and I know, yeah, you feel me, I got that Howard vibe. Like, you know, for I real. want to go to Howard, but I tell you, it's probably on like three, four episodes. I didn't get into Howard until May, you feel me? Word. Like, you feel me? That shit was there because I need to know where I was going to go. For real, yeah. But I know, um, I want you to, you feel me, talk a little bit about the Howard energy. Like, you feel me? Yeah. I know y'all shit is different. Y'all call you feel me like y'all homecoming, you feel me? It's known, you feel me? Yeah. What's, what was it like, you feel me, being on the yard at Howard? Um, you feel me? Yeah, nah, for real. Music. Yeah, nah. When you on Howard, man, it's just the second you touch down there, it's the command and excellence from you. Everybody hustling, everybody's grinding. Uh, you have spring on the yard, and that's like, you know, it's like, you know, people are supposed to be going to classes and stuff like that, but you might step out for a sec and uh, just be spending the whole day on the yard, and and then they got, they got like DJs have they're having random sets on the yard and stuff like that, and. Uh, you mind the food trucks out there and the people going in and Blackburn on Soul Food Thursdays and at the same time you know even like especially as a freshman you coming in and you getting hit with like like you're you're becoming extremely woke because you're understanding about really who you are and figuring out yeah. Uh, yeah just your entire history that you know, we, we've been taught like you know from elementary that's that to HBCU, uh, that's a whole I don't want to call by, it cap but that's the thing that's what they do to you like, yeah, <laughs> exactly no, you go back home, like they can <laughs> exactly yeah, no. so yeah yeah so you're super woke but yeah man just yeah, yeah beautiful girls there everything is great there uh, wonderful it's just man it's, it's kind of you just got to go and visit but then homecoming too that's just a vibe of just the biggest sea of like black people you'll, you'll see um, just all just going up like yeah, drinks, partying, 
uh, all peaceful, all good vibes, man. And uh, and it's all the legacies from that. So you have like you know the current students there, but then you got all the old, you know, older Howard alum that are there. And then um, so it's just like it's amazing. It, but once again, in that alum, you see people that are like really doing people really getting money people really are connected people are really out here so it's just like amazing that they can have that be excellent like that but then also be a human and really be going up and having fun because how it turned up i guess you know more how i I didn't get to go but it's just like it's just like the people we really go up to so so it's not weak (laughs) so i yeah touching on that i know you said um like you get you well you've been woke you feel me like your freshman year type shit you feel me so how does that make you feel or how do you feel now about you know everything going on um, you feel me, looting, you know, Black Lives Matter movement. For sure. You feel me, voting, you know? Yeah, nah, definitely got to vote. This is an important election. Um, just to make sure our voice is heard and to make sure we can, yeah, really, really put this season behind us and, and, and transition into uh, a better America. But one thing about 2020, I kind of feel like it's a lot of these experiences I have um, occurred from, you know, the murders of Breonna Taylor, Maude Arbery, um, George Floyd. Um, I'm glad that when those things happen, I feel like people are now finally like, this is it. This is, you know, of course we're standing up for ourselves as black people, but then you have other people from other uh, communities sure. that are like, yeah, this is, like this is messed up. You yeah, overseas, like kind of like there has been, now it's like blatantly that there has been an attack on uh, African-Americans, black people um, for, yeah, 400 years, you know what I'm saying? And it's still going on today. Yeah, sure. So it's just but like now days with, um, you know, kind of our position in America uh, with our economic power, um, how we can really, and with with hip hop, how we really control culture. Uh, our lives need to be valued now, so um, as they always should have been. So, um, so I just feel like, yeah, this is it. like our foot's down. Um, we're not gonna go back. Uh, sure. My kids and stuff like that. I need them to have a, a just a better America. They shouldn't be driving around around the street, you're scared to get pulled over and stuff like that. It's just like, you know, our counterparts, they, they'll never go to understand how that yeah, feeling sure, is, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Definitely, yeah, you feel me? Yeah. I know we all know about that. For real. All right, so, damn. All right, that's, that's deep shit. And I think, you feel me, 2020 um, has definitely been, I always said, like, well, I remember when I went to Morehouse, they said we were the class of perfect vision, you feel me? Hey. So, I feel like 2020 is, just, is about opening the eyes, you feel me? Yeah, you the real, saying? for real. All of that shit. All right, so, damn, so, how's your 2020 been, you feel me, besides Corona, you feel me? You know, what's next? Yeah. What's, what's up for you for the rest of the year? For real, man. For the rest of the year, what can we continue to work, man. Your new video, um, your videos are chasing the light. The single coming, man. We coming like super hard. The Cranium team, um, just really dropping like every week, bro. Like we yeah. we not letting up. We really gonna keep the foot on their necks, man. Um, okay. We got Who that. Your team, shout them out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got um, Vin Win. Who I've been yeah, working with really since the jump. Um, yeah, Mark Benizich. And he's been like just as far as like just operations and uh, supply chain and it yeah, really making it easy for me just to kind of uh, design, make sure we you know keeping the vision of the company and uh, yeah growing from there. So it's a small team with it, and um, you kind of work with like different designers and collab with different brands and stuff like that uh, when we see fit too. So yeah, man, just yeah more clothes, more music, um, even merch with with kind of the foreign thing as well as far as dropping like yoga mats and yoga blocks and fitness apparel for the, for the yeah. women uh okay. so yeah a lot of Pop a lot of pride. exactly so yeah we just working man that's i started just picking up the hustling um yeah yeah just not letting up what are some words you live by that you feel me keep going every day yeah every step with god um yeah i'm not moving i'm not moving every step i need to make sure that it's it's uh, a part of my purpose and and uh, it's aligned with like kind of how God wants me to move because a lot of times when I try to force stuff that aren't meant to happen you know what I'm saying uh, it just don't work out maybe more forced. painless it just be forced and I'm just trying to stay in the flow be seen so yeah every step with God that's 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 something I really live by if that's just one thing and uh, yeah yeah just yeah, that's it. I think that's it. No, for, real. for sure, that's deep. Yeah. I know, um, of course, you feel me, you may not think you in a big-ass light. You feel me? I may not think I'm in a big-ass light, mm-hmm. but you feel me, we all got, always got those people who reach out. To, yeah, you feel me? Sure. I look up to you, bro. I'm proud of you, feel me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. what do you say to them, your fans, you feel me, the people who, you know what I'm saying, look up to you, like, yeah. any inspirational words to somebody who would want to be in your steps one day? 
man, just keep your your family, keep your like team close. The people that really care about you, you be looking at like those people really, they're not replaceable. Um, it's that loyalty. That's like number one. Like sure. even loyalty over love. Sometimes like really they keep like that loyalty is really real. And then just you just gotta keep going no matter what. Like it's so many times I could have been knocked off. And as far as like you know, stop doing cranium or stop with the music or it's difficult, or hard or hit my pockets, hard and stuff like that. Are people not supporting it? But sooner or later, like people are really gonna support it. And I'm just not kind of getting to that point where you know I got you know some good support. You know what I'm saying college, but you're kind of these little pockets more. of stuff yeah. but now I'm in the real world and it's like okay. we're making it where people are like okay like we're really starting to get support but if I had stopped you know I've been doing it for like seven years then um yeah then but that's I would the never even see it right? but that's it yeah just like and don't stop people are gonna hate people are gonna whatever but we ain't even worried about them we just worried about uh pushing our message uh never quitting because I mean at the end of the day it's don't just dream make it happen so how am I gonna stop I gotta make it happen for sure yeah, yeah. all right well, shit on that, man. We're going to end <laughs> off. Uh, give them your at, you feel me? Right. Let them know where to find you, where they can get some cranium. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, my at's Scotty Welch on everything. S-K-O-T-T-Y, W-E-L-C-H, Cranium Club, um, dot club for the clothes and the Instagram. And, um, yeah, man, get you some drip, stream Chasing the Light. Yeah, so chasing the Light um, out now. Yeah, for real, though. No. It's, it's a bang. You're going to see it up soon. So, yeah, yeah, just tap in with me. All right, my boy. Appreciate you. For real. Appreciate you, too, bro. This is a suck.